Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, and I've got Brian Canfield with April Air here, and we're gonna talk about the former April Air 1870, now called the E-130. Correct. Dehumidifier. Just so you all know, we've done videos on the E-70, formerly the 1820, the E-80, formerly the 1830, and the E-100, formerly the 1850, and we'll put links to all those videos down below so you can see which one you like better, but let's talk about the E-130, Stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to basement waterproofing, crawl space encapsulation, and indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, and also follow us on Facebook. In the E100 video, you mentioned that April Air has started doing their own videos, which I think is very important, especially for the DIYer out there. You've got error code videos and different things like that. So we'll, we'll make sure we put a link to your channel down below as well so people can check that out. But let's talk about the E130, formerly the 1870. This is a hoss of a dehumidifier. This guy weighs, what, 130 pounds, roughly? Yeah, it's about 115 pounds. 115 pounds. And it, it really, it's one of our largest and best performing dehumidifiers in the category. As you mentioned, the E130 stands for 130 pints, so it should be real easy to remember when you're ordering it or looking for it online. When it was the 1870 and moved over to the E130, we basically just did a rebranding because already as, as 1870, it was a, a class leader in both energy, airflow, and performance. That's right. And you'd mentioned that you've seen quite an increase in the production of the E-130. And it could be because HVAC is caught up to where uh, one unit can cover more zone of a house or they're building the houses bigger or whatever. But there could be another instance where you would choose a larger dehumidifier like this if you're in a really wet environment. Is that correct? Absolutely. You know, a lot of a lot of our customers tell us that they'd rather have a product that maybe is sized a little larger, but maybe doesn't run as much because it's going to use a little less of the home's energy. In addition to that, it's also going to have a much quieter performance because that larger cabinet and that larger size is really going to dampen any noise concerns. Right. So a lot of customers tell me if they have the space for it, they'd rather go with that larger size just as kind of an insurance policy. And we've done some crawl spaces that are 3,500 to 5,000, 6,000 square feet. So this uh, this is a good unit, as long as the door is big enough. Absolutely. To get it in. I mean, you don't you can't do a 12 by 12 door and fit this guy in. I mean, you got to go with the E70 if you want to do something like that. And if you decide to put the E130 in a uh, perhaps a large finished basement or a large attic or something like that, you can actually tie the condensate pump to the E-130 so that the E-130 will shut off on its own if for some reason the condensate pump fails. Absolutely. And if you are putting the unit in a basement or rec room, it is extremely quiet. So you can still do all the same recreational activities that you enjoy and not have to worry about here in a dehumidifier. Tell us a little bit about uh, the warranty on the model, the coils, and, and also how you don't need the P-trap. Our E-Series is very consistent from top to bottom in how we build our products. And as you mentioned, it still has the same industry proven five year full warranty that you've expected on all the other items. Additionally, from an installation standpoint, it still has the same features that you've, you've come to rely upon as well. The unit is one of the quietest in the industry. It still works with our condensation pumps that we've, we've covered before in previous videos. You can tie it right in. We do get a lot of installations in attics, and so that becomes a really handy feature in attic installations. And again, it has a blower on it that's powerful enough that in addition to doing dehumidification, if you have an application where you need increased airflow, you can also ventilate and move air throughout the you know basement or crawl space application. Very good. So if you're a DIYer and you're uh, thinking about buying any of the E-Series from the DIY store from Crawl Space Ninja, what you mentioned about the condensation pump is that the condensation pump, which normally has a one-year warranty when you buy it, with the April Air product, April Air actually covers that condensation pump for an additional four years. So it gives it a five-year warranty to match the dehumidifier warranty. That's right. That's right. And speaking of attics, that's a good point too, because, uh, you know, it seems like these attics, man, you can play basketball oh, yeah. in these attics. I mean, they're massive. Absolutely. You know, you can, you can have a, an 1800 square foot attic that's 23 feet tall. And you need something big like this to be able to uh, handle all that cubic footage and all that sort of thing. Absolutely. The unit is also operating off of a dew point, right. which makes it unique from the standpoint of it doesn't just factor in relative humidity, but it really brings that temperature element in there so that it's operating in the most efficient use of your home's energy. And if you want to learn more about dew point, Brian also 
tried to do his best to simplify what dew point is, and I'll put that link down below. It's it's not an easy topic to explain, is it? It's not an easy topic. I think it's me and your local weatherman are the are the people that enjoy talking about it the that's most. Right, that's right. And what's nice about the E130 is it actually still utilizes positive pressure. So you don't need to worry about using a P-trap because the air is pushed right out of the dehumidifier. So it will flow through a gravity or into a condensation pump or some crock without the, the use of a P-trap. That's right. So if you have a basement waterproofing system, for example, and you want to drain this unit directly into the sump pump pit, it's got that positive pressure pushing that water from the DHU directly in there. So it, it, as long as it's going downhill. Yeah, you course. just need you need gravity, right? It's our, gravity is our friend, Michael. <laughs> That's right. All right, so I'm Michael Church of Crawl Space Ninja here with Brian Canfield of April Air. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.